Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 grassroots mission, Michael. We will meet our alien overlords. Hi and welcome back. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting gold in every damn mission in GTA 5, as we look at the Grand Theft Auto Grassroots mission, Michael. And don't forget to hang about until the end, so you can catch our bonus tips on how to get through this one first time. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this mission is a lot of fun, but it can get a bit tedious after the fourth playthrough, because you just miss that kill chain. I also highly recommend taking a minute to grab some body armor before meeting Barry. To get gold in this one, we'll need to get through relatively unscathed and get a seven alien kill chain in 10 seconds. So let's get started after Michael's had a toke. Okay, so the gear is just kicking in. Minigun appears from nowhere. And off we go. So I've found with this one, it can be a bit challenging, but I find just moving around this main central square is probably the easiest way at it. The mini map does show where the aliens are. So as long as you keep an eye on that, you're pretty right. I think that's the first wave. Second wave will be coming from the back. There we are. As soon as you see aliens manifesting up the top, you want to hit those as well because they've got these mind beams. They do some very unfortunate things to Michael's health. There we go. So we've got a couple of seconds before they start firing off. And here comes the next lot. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, ow again. Right, so let's just waggle the stick a bit. Right, I think we've got him. He's done. His friend will get us again, I think, if we don't shoot him. Yep, there he is. Right, got him. Okay, another one. Those guys are really annoying. There we go. Okay, so I think that's just about this. Him again, right. And I think that's just about this wave taken care of. There's a few more popping up here. We are getting to the end of the show. This is pretty much the only opportunity we have to get that kill chain. I think that might be it. Yep, okay, so Michael's coming back down again. And there's a little more of an explanation from Barry, who admits that he sees the aliens all the time, and I'm pretty concerned about his mental health, to be honest. Okay, so Michael has a few parting words. And that's gold. There we go. All right, so got that kill chain and got through without getting killed. Body armor was an investment that well paid off. So thanks for watching to the end. Here are my top tips on how to get through this one first time. Keep the minigun spooled up at all times by holding the aim button. This puts it on a hair trigger and makes it much easier to take out the enemies quickly. Try not to let the little blighters too close or they'll psychically paralyze you. And your best opportunity for the kill chain is right near the end of the last wave, where a heap of enemies spawn at once. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers, or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the next grassroots mission, Trevor, or the one on the right for some more old, grumpy gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.